20th of October 2017 so let's look outside what do we got okay so we just we just got like the first sliver of the moon coming in because we had a new moon yesterday a little bit at, at 12 12 p.m. and that new moon yesterday like I said was in the Nakshatra Shidra Shitra uh, who's ruled by Vashtar the celestial architect and it's and it is really like the hippie Nakshatra it's all about the um, variegated clothing, you know, and colorful designs, and and it's nice. And so this is where the Western Zodiac Libra and the Vedic Zodiac Libra meet each other, too. Yeah. And um, and so we're, we're starting this cycle where we want to invest in Kama. Kama, yes, folks, Kama, from now until November 16th. It will be Sun in, you know, Sidereal Libra and Vedic Libra is with this desire for this juiciness in life. Even though it's ruled by the wind and the air, it cares about family. It cares about emotional security. It tends to be artistic, even musically able. And, um, and so there's just this feeling of creativity that comes in and is enhanced. So... Um, let us enjoy that, you know, let's enjoy this part of, uh, of the year. And um, we've got suns moving into Scorpio this week on, on Sunday. And on that day the moon will be in Sagittarius. But um, we're starting out with the moon in, um, well, is in Libra, but it's going into, wait a second, no, it's in Scorpio. Yeah, it's been in Scorpio since last night. Who are we kidding? So it's probably today in the nakshatra of Swati. And Swati is ruled by Rahu or the North Node and it's windy, it's very Vata. And um, so if we're starting out with a windy weather or something, that could be part of it. And you know, it's not a good time to eat things that give you gas. Um, but um, we've got um, Venus in Libra, Mercury in Scorpio, Mars in Virgo, um, Mercury and, and Jupiter in, in um, Scorpio, Sun in Libra going into Scorpio on Sunday night, uh, Moon will uh, be in Sagittarius then, and um, Pluto in Capricorn, and of course Neptune in Libra, and let's begin, let's start with Aries. So, greetings Aries, welcome to your horoscope. Um, this week, Mars goes out of Virgo, in Western, into Libra, in your seventh house. Now, this is interesting because like a lot of times in Western astrology, Mars in the seventh house is open enemies. We also sometimes in Western astrology refer to the seventh house as the worthy opponent. That was really interesting. But it is also a time where, you know, relationships and um, being able to um, get married or engaged or, you know, 
some kind of alliance, even getting jobs um, becomes easier in, in this period. And um, there's an amount of like mystery in your life right now and things that involve other people's property, sex, um, even the occult studies, the mysteries, and other people can help you a lot, but you might not be able to help yourself as easy, so you might, it's easy to get in debt sometimes, um, so you got to be careful about that, but, uh, you know, just keep a good spiritual life, um, and enjoy your playtime, especially play with kids and have fun, I mean, unless there's laws preventing it or something, because you're, you know, you have a problem. Uh, let's see, uh, Taurus, greetings Taurus, um, oh, uh, what is it like? Well, you know, it, there's an ease up this week, you know, because you, it's like Libra time rules your workplace in a lot of ways, um, especially working with other people or service of work, not so much the career, but just getting everything in order, cleaning up, um, organizing, um, aunts and uncles, taking care of pets, charitable causes, government work, you know, all those type of things are, are very sixth house and that's what's been going on. And it'll probably continue to go on to some extent, but now, after Sunday, you're going to have Sunday night, Sun moves into Scorpio. So, and Jupiter is in Scorpio, and this is all your, in your 7th house partnership place, Mercury's there. So you become this sweet talker. And you become this enchantress, or this seducer. And, you know, people are just drawn to you suddenly. It's like, ooh, I like what you have. You know, you, you present yourself with this sense of class and dignity, and it's just unstoppable. And, um... Frankly, I think you're going to like the way you look in this week. <laughs> I'm Cosmic Head. <laughs> and I guarantee you. No, I can't guarantee anything. Because everything's different for everybody. Because y'all have, have different rising signs and moons and planets here and there, exalted and deflated. <laughs> well, that's not an astrological term. Deflated is not... Um, Debilitated is what they normally call it. I kind of like deflated though. <laughs> they just took all the air out of the graha. You know? <laughs> oh boy. Well, greetings, Gemini. Welcome to your horoscope. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this has been a good time for you. Let's face it. You've been having a nice role. And, and you're so playful. And you love fun and flirtation. And I, it's just really awesome to have somebody like you around, you know, uh, I mean, and I, I think that's a good thing. The other thing is, um, you've got this energy about you to um, create more and be more creative with um, Venus and Mars in your fifth house. I think, I think it helps your love life, too. Um, Saturn's there, so it's got to be serious in love or it's not going to really happen. <sighs> I had to add that sigh. And um, working on health issues, you know, you want to have better health, you want to live a better life, you want to live a longer life, you know, especially if you're like me, you know, you want to live a longer life because you've just made such a mess of the first part. <laughs> it's always like, so Cosmic Code doesn't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> well then you well there's always procrastination <laughs> oh boy okay well greetings cancer welcome to your horoscope and um, so I mean this is a time you know where you're really looking at relationships and you're saying to yourself oh my gosh where do I need to change you know with Pluto there in order for me to function better you know because some of us are dristy. It is our, our loving consort. It is our lover in some ways. And so, you know, you might find with um, a Capricorn rulership or seventh house, so maybe, okay, maybe in somebody has a lot of stuff in the tenth house or, you know, and that somehow makes them kind of Capricorn like and you fall in love with them, you know, or it falls that way in your chart, you know, that. I've seen stuff like that work. 
but I'll tell you more about it. <clears throat> but you know, you're always looking for security. And financially, you want to manifest right now. <clears throat> you're hungry for more. And it might have been a little bit tough, you know. You might be in a place where you need a little more help than you normally have. And, and that's okay, because, you know, sometimes you just have to ask for it. Um, you want to beautify your house. You know, and a lot of you <clears throat> already have been, like, decorating for Halloween and um, enjoying your Halloween seasonal celebration. And, um, and it's a big deal in America. People really like it. Um, it's gotten to be a much more popular ho holiday than almost any other. And uh, with the sun moving into Scorpio, it's your fifth house, you know, so there's going to be more, and Jupiter's already there, and you're friends with sun and Jupiter, so I mean, it sounds like you're going to get a break, you know, things are going to get a little better, and you're going to enjoy more, more love, hmm, all right, well, hello, Leo, welcome to your horoscope. So, you know, Libra time is about siblings, and, you know, these are the last few days of it. You know, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that's it. By Sunday night, late Sunday night, sun goes into Scorpio. So, a lot of times in Libra, we're, we're really just trying to set up the contract, you know. We're just trying to get to know you, you know. But it's like, you know, it's like... I always think of, like, Libra is like the engagement, and um, Scorpio is like the honeymoon, you know, where things get, you know, um, darn right intimate and, um, and passionate. And so, with Libra, we really want to show our sweet side, you know, and so, you know, with your friends and your siblings, you really try to be sweet to them and show your sweet side. But when it comes to your parents, you're like, oh, my God, you know, <laughs> I have to be real now. <laughs> this is what I'm feeling deep inside about this. And so that's OK. Um, Saturn's been in your fifth house. It's eventually going to leave in December. Um, so it's like, what is blocking your heart? What is keeping you from really loving? And um, I think it's like you're in a much more contemplative, introspective place for um, today and tomorrow. And I think it'd be good to go within, you know, and really, you know, bathe in those deep, dark, scorpionic waters because um, that, are, that are coming on because there's a message there. And it's, you know, a lot of times how we're reared and raised, it's very foundational. And this is how we set ourselves out and related to the world. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Mm. Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to your horoscope. So, Scorpio is where Virgos do their poetry. Um, this is where the Virgo goes and um, communicates with siblings, works with their hands. Maybe they're working, typing a, a message, or they're playing guitar, or piano, or drums, um, and or crafting with wood or something, or ceramics. And so, you know, a lot of hobbies happen in the third house. And there's different, you know, traditional things astrology looks at it. Because people are living longer, I kind of go, you know, you know, zero to 84, you know, seven years for every house of your life in some ways. That's not the progress chart system. This is just another generality that I see. And so what happens between 14 and 21? Well, I mean, it's like high school and college. And, um, you know, we go through our adolescence. We go through all this curiosity, you know. And so, so for you, Virgo, this is a curious time. And... Um, and it's also a time where you can make improvements. All the Caden houses, there's, you know, they're harder, but the, you make improvements. And there's something actually lucky about the third house. You know, I guess maybe it interfaces with the ninth. That's part of it. Uh, okay, all right. Greetings, Libra. Welcome to your horoscope. So, 
this is your last weekend, kind of. You know, you got the last couple of days of of Libra here, and it's total Vedic Libra too. So it's and um, the moon's in Vedic Libra, you know, but it's in Western Scorpio. So there's this real passionate. Um, you know, interlay, and I always wondered why, like, the Libras, you know, born, like, the 16th through the 22nd always seem so different to me, like, they always seem like they were more passionate, and they were more opinionated, and all kinds of stuff, they were showing up, <laughs> they weren't just trying to be nice, <laughs> I like it, you know, because, they're, you know, and I think a lot of them are artists, and they're deeply into their art in that last week, too. I've noticed that as my as my astrology teacher and mentor uh, of the of the internet KRS would say. You know, he'd um, it is all nakshatra. Everything is nakshatra, and and I'm I'm finding there's some truth to that. When you find out about these 27 sub signs, their planetary rulerships, the ruling deities, and all the essence of just the um, psychology. That comes with that in the human experience. It's all there, folks. Everything. It's all there. Um, anyhow, going back to you, uh, Libra, it's like this is a time for you to shine. And you're going to enjoy this weekend. You can make some money this weekend. And Sunday, the moon goes into your third house, so it's a good time to hang out with neighbors. And same thing for... for um, you know, Monday, but, um, you know, by Tuesday night, Moon's going to go into your fourth house, and it looks like by next weekend, that's going to be your really fun weekend, um, but the sun going in your second house is a time to work on values, making money, and um, your family, your throat chakra, and yeah, that's good. Okay. Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope. So, I mean, the sun is not in Scorpio yet, but it might as well be because the moon is, Mercury is, and Jupiter is. So already it's like you're feeling that rustle, that, oh, yeah, man, I'm getting ready to shake off these leaves, baby. Baby, I'm ready to turn from just kind of like pale yellow-green to like bright orange, um, bright red. You know, I want to, I need something to kind of, come up from the depths that these could, people could see something they've never seen before. You know, something that really communicates something. And, um, and I think, you know, if you're a Scorpio, Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, this is the year. I mean, this is the year where your art is going to take flight. And so I can't express to you how powerful it is on this new moon cycle to give your art some flight. You know, to give what you're doing some credence so you can move forward. And I, I need to take my own advice on this too. I really feel this. Um, and so right now, <clears throat> you've, um, you have to reacquaint yourself with your voice, you know, on, on this weekend. And um, you need to let yourself make friends that help encourage you to be a better person. And I think right now, you know, with Venus and Mars in the 12th house, it's like you kind of want that secret lover, you know. It's too early for, you know, a public relationship. But um, I could see that, you know, that could be it. And even if it's in your mind, you're working in the labyrinth in your mind or in your spirit of, like, attracting and creating that right person, and having that confidence of just waiting, you know, and I think it's, um, alchemy does exist, but you don't want to be selfish, and you also want to hang out a lot in nature, and learn from nature, there are teachers, you know, I mean really, talking to squirrels and birds, it's not bad, it could be good for your health, they're not the crazy people talking to squirrels and birds, <laughs> People talking about their big old weapons and going crazy. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> We're so impressed. You're confident in the harm you can cause. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I think that's something we're all confident in. 
<laughs> oh boy, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, you're not being real with yourself. Huh? Okay, so, greetings Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope. Um, addressing the limits. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been tough, and you've had a lot to move, you've had a lot to get across. Um, your social life looks pretty good right now, and, you know, for this being like the karma period you're initiating into this week, with the sun going your 12th house, um, I really see you've done a lot of good deeds, and that you really have a lot of good karma, actually, and so... I see a real blessing, but you have to go into the monastery and you have to go to like sacred spots. You don't have to go like all the way to, to Shasta if that's, you know, like a couple hundred miles away. There's little mountains and things that are, you know, close to where you live that there's a place of reverence and power in the earth. You don't have to go far, you know, but you got to get in touch with Mama. You know, you got to get in touch with Pachamama and with Mother Earth because she is, um, Wanting your support, wanting your prayers, wanting to hear your song. And um, that's it, you know. And, and so we're all indigenous somewhere in our life, in some place. And we need to get into that drum beat, get into that heartbeat, and love the planet and love each other. That's as simple as it can be. And, um, and for you, yeah, it's, it's kind of introspective, spirit time, watch your dreams. Like I said last week, moon will be in Sag. Sunday, Monday, so you got, you know, plenty of time for that for you. Okay, hello Capricorn and welcome to your horoscope. So, I mean, it's all about timing. You know, a Capricorn, they're key phrases I use. And what do you use? I mean, we all use sunshine and water and air because you know we're, we're needing those things and usually some carbon cycle footprint of vegetation or animal matter of some sort to keep nutrients flowing through our existence and um, do we use you know wood products or do we use people you know and if so how do we reward them you know and so that's really what's bringing everything fair and and you look good in the workplace, but you really need to take more time for friendship. You know, that's what's happening this week. There will be Capricorn Moon on um, the evening of the 24th, the 25th, the 26th. So you get all, all of that, the evening of the 24th and the other two days. And um, you can find friendships and, and emphasize and discover friendship. Mm. All right. Greetings Aquarius, welcome to your horoscope. So good to be with you. So this is like your career house, the 10th house, you know, and this is where you're in the public more, and this is where people value your opinion more, and this is where you um, are able to present kind of a sexy persona with Venus and Mars, you know, I mean, that's kind of what I think when they're in the same sign, and... Um, and and you're learning that and then there's this weekend with the moon mercury jupiter and then eventually the sun well the moon will go out into sagittarius but the sun will move in to scorpio and so there's this kind of perpetual bubbling of good career opportunity for you and good ways to display your talents and skills so other people see them and really know that you've got something going on that's beyond the average and then so Saturn and Moon, Sunday, Monday, those are good days for you as far as playing. And you're working on changing your consciousness. And a lot of times it is changing our thought patterns. And, um, and that can be actually a magically freeing thing. Because we can let the past be the past. And... Um, the future be forming and we're consciously forming what we want from it and um, just creating beauty wherever we go and in spite of the limitations acknowledging things aren't, aren't easy for everybody right now yeah. and hello Pisces welcome your horoscope and don't cry 
Okay, cry. I know. I want to cry. I, you know, I had to cry a lot, you know, in the in the last few weeks. Um, but that's okay because um, for Pisces, this is a very fortunate time. It's a very guru time. It's a very good time to honor your teacher. You know, honor your teachers, especially on a Thursday. <clears throat> you know, and and it's like if you're wanting to kick out Jupiter energy, so a lot of times we're we're gold, yellow, um, on a Thursday. It's very powerful. And, um, but honor your teachers, like gifting your teachers with things, you know, um, it really, it helps, you know, and it helps you have more of that divine energy. Uh, you know, and that's what we really want. We want things to be reflections of the divine. And so, um, this is a time of higher learning for you. This is a time of deep spiritual knowledge, a time of giving, it's a time of good fortune and good luck. And, I mean, I think you're going to enjoy the weekend, you know. For, yeah, it looks like a lot of you will want to travel, go out of town, there will probably be those pre-Halloween, Halloween parties. I know all about them, you know, but just be really careful out there. And, um, because I want you all in one piece to enjoy me again next week we're going to do this again on the planetary per persuader and um, gosh what are we going to talk about next week I mean we, we have do we have a full moon <clears throat> do we have a full moon um, yes we do we have a full moon next week on Friday the uh, 3rd and um, boy it looks like it's right on the cusp of, um, you know, a couple of different things, and it looks like it's in Bharani Nakshatra probably next week, um, full moon and Taurus and Western astrology, so we'll be talking about that, you know, about more of that Venus feeling of, mmm, juicy love and creativity, and we're going to have fun with each other. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to do this next week on the Planetary Persuader. Yay!